Here you can see how normal alternating current power, AC, flows through a conductor. We'll now insert and switch on a simple mechanical switch. We'll use this mechanical switch to explain the work of a valve in altering current flow. If we open the switch, you can see how there is no change to the waveform on the supply side. However, flow is interrupted on the demand side. Now we will open and close the switch. Notice how the current flow is affected. The dotted vertical line in each circle shows the waveform. This gives a reference to where the switch is opening and closing, and the relationship between the AC side and the modified wave side. Opening and closing in a set rhythm can be used to create a set wave shape. See here how the switch is set to close when the AC waveform is on the positive side only. Let's now replace the switch with a valve. The valve operates just like a switch, except the valve is blocked, closed, and deblocked, opened, by an electronic control signal, as opposed to a mechanical one like our previous example. The signal is an opposing voltage, which is applied to the valve. It stops the current flow when the wave crosses the zero point. This shows the valve in an actual circuit situation. Each time the valve cycles through block and deblock, in other words, close and open, it causes a pulse to be generated. In half wave rectification, either the positive or negative half of the AC wave is passed, while the other half is blocked. Because only one half of the input waveform reaches the output, it is very inefficient if used for power transfer.